All right, checking in on our weather forecast. We're taking a live look from our Lookout Mountain camera. A little cloudy out there right now. It's going to be a very warm but windy day today, Stacy. That's right, and we're under a weather action day as things start to change here this afternoon and going into the weekend. So we have partly cloudy skies out here now. It's a beautiful afternoon. So for the home opener, we'll have temperatures in the 70s throughout the game. It will be windy and warm for our afternoon hours. 75 degrees the afternoon high for us today. So gorgeous weather uh, to be out at Coors Field and enjoy a game. As for that warm, windy weather sticks around today, we have high fire danger for the Eastern Plains and for Metro Denver, but we'll have some rain and some snow showing up into this evening for the mountains that will last going into the weekend and it'll be windy and cool here for the front range temperatures only in the 40s tomorrow after highs in the 70s today 70s up into northeastern Colorado we'll have 70 in Castle Rock and 75 for Platteville 73 for Erie and 58 for Estes Park as for our average high this time of year that's 60 degrees for today 82 the record afternoon high set back in 1991 but right now we're sitting at 58 degrees downtown 57 at the airport and our winds only about six miles an hour Hour at this point. Those will pick up as we head into the later part of the day. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s here for the Front Range, 60s and 70s farther to the south and up in the mountains we also have 40s and 50s. But that high fire danger stretching all the way from Fort Collins and Sterling down into southeastern Colorado and it does include Denver also toward Alamosa. We have high wind warnings for western Colorado for winds up to 65 miles an hour. And then tomorrow the high wind watches go into effect here for the Front Range and the plains down to the southern part of the state until Sunday afternoon. This is for winds about 65 to 75 miles an hour could see them as high as 80 in places here for our area and parts west off to the west we also have a wind advisory today until nine o'clock for wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour for the western slope six to 12 inches of snow with a winter weather advisory here all the way until sunday as well so we're keeping a close eye on all the changes that'll take place here in the next 48 hours high wind watch for tomorrow morning through sunday morning this is one of the reasons that we have this weather action day in effect is for those high dangerously high winds in places. Now we will have a few scattered showers tomorrow morning, then those winds really kicking in in the afternoon. But notice those temperatures only in the 40s for the day. Our overnight lows tonight will be around 40 degrees. Then the cooler air moves in tomorrow. Highs in the 40s as we go into tomorrow morning and the, our highs will also be in the 40s. So not much fluctuation with our temperatures going into tomorrow. We'll have those 40s into the morning and afternoon with the higher winds later in the day. 47 degrees are expected high later on. We'll have 40s and 50s here for the Eastern Plains, 60s farther to the south with 20s and 30s for the higher elevation. So for Saturday, we'll have some mountain snow, some rain and snow here for the Eastern Plains. As we get into Saturday night, things start to clear out and Sunday will be cool and windy for the day with more snow in the higher elevations. Our super seven day forecast in the 70s today, only in the 40s tomorrow with showers and colder air settling in. Still cool and windy on Sunday with a chance for some light rain and snow Monday and highs in the upper 40s.